Hi, my name is Nicole and I live in Berlin, Germany. Berlin and I met at a very strange time in my life. About five years ago, I was at a crossroads. I was living in London, and I had the opportunity to either move back to the States or stay within Europe. And I decided to try and go for it and stay in Europe. So I looked for jobs just on Google in major European cities. And um, I interviewed for a few positions, and I chose Berlin because the city spoke to me when I came to visit. I've always been a sort of traveler or wanderer. I left home when I was 17 to go to university and I've kind of been moving like every couple years just bouncing around on the East Coast of the United States. And then when I moved to London for work, I was kind of bitten by the travel bug. I, I just love to travel and I love exploring new cultures and meeting new people. and not only discovering the differences, but seeing how we're all kind of the same. I've had some really great experiences as a traveler. I've walked the halls of the Hermitage in Russia. I've bathed in the Blue Lagoon in Iceland. I've ran with the bulls in Pamplona. I've done a lot. Of all the traveling and exploring that I've done, um, nothing could have prepared me for how my life changed about uh, a year ago. Um, I gave birth to a little girl named Ariana and she is the light of my life. Being a mom is challenging and rewarding at the same time, but I think it's an extra level of complexity raising a child in a country where you don't speak the native language. Um, I guess I'm, you know, a glutton for punishment. Germany and in Berlin affords us so many benefits. They give generous parental leave. Currently right now I'm in my 13th month of maternity leave and um, I go back to work uh, in July and part-time and I can work part-time um, up until her third birthday. Because um, Elternzeit or maternity leave is so long, there are tons of activities and is a huge network for mothers and an infrastructure for mothers that um, are spending time with their child. Daily, we go out almost every day, rain, sleet, or snow, we are hitting the pavement. Um, we're out, you can probably hear it, we're out in Berlin on foot um, with our stroller, or she's being worn on my back in an Ergo baby, and um, you know, we go to kinder cafes, we try to go swimming, we do a lot of activities together. I couldn't imagine going back to the States and at six weeks saying, hey, you know, handing my daughter over to a caregiver. I know a lot of women have to do this, but after experiencing this way, I don't think I could, if I have another child, that I can go back to the States and do it that way. Challenges that I faced living in Germany as a person of color and traveling across Europe. It's, a, it's an interesting dilemma. I don't think there's any black American that lives in Europe or lives in Germany that will tell you that it's all peaches and cream. Um, and I myself have been known to be very critical of Germany and Europe in terms of race relations. Baby? 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 Who's a baby? Baby? You're a baby? Baby? You're a baby? Sorry, she wanted to say hi. Say hi. Hi. This is my daughter, Ariana. Babies. Babies where? Babies. You're a baby. So some of the challenges of being a person of color in Germany and in Europe um, is a pretty complicated issue. What a lot of people have to understand is that whatever I've gone through here, it's not enough to send me home packing. Um, but at the same time, I think immigration and people of color and all that stuff is quite new to Germany and is quite new to Europe. So some of the things that you see here and some of the things that you hear here, you would never ever hear it in America. There would be a political uprising. Twitter would bring down the company. You see a lot of stereotypes used in advertising. 
you see a lot of negative portrayals of people of color. Um, you don't see a representation, positive representations of people of color. And the thing is, when you tell people that it's racist or you tell people that you're offended, they're just like, you're ridiculous, that's not racist. Because when you say racism in Germany and in Europe, they think of um, blatant. They think that racism is always violent. Racism is always intentional. They don't know that racism can be passive. They don't know that racism can be pervasive. They don't understand that racism can be unintentional and that a racist image could possibly be saying as, you know, feel good um, helpers. So the images and lack of diverse images, both positive and negative, is something that I struggle with. I'm raising a child of color here. And, um, you know, sometimes I see things and I'm like, okay, you know, when she's of age, what am I gonna have to single-handedly unlearn her? You know, what, what messages am I going to have to undo um, that she's getting from mainstream society? So I hope you learned a few things and are intrigued by my life here. If you want to find out more about me, you can go to my blog, NicoleIsAnewBlack.com. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram if you want to follow the adventures of my daughter and I. Thanks so much for watching.